Harry Houdini's famed death-defying stunts still mystify many, and now a rumor about his death could be a modern-day mystery, too. Houdini died on Halloween in 1926, and he was buried without an autopsy, despite rumors that he was murdered. Eighty-one years later, his great-nephew wants the body exhumed. George Hardeen says it's time to find out if Uncle Harry was poisoned by his enemies. The forensic pathologist the family has hired hopes to find tissue samples intact enough to perform toxicology studies. If we don't have those tissues, uh, either internal organs or otherwise, then we have to rely upon the bone. And the bone does uh, act as a reservoir for poisons. Hardeen's grandfather was Harry Houdini's brother. He says when the famous magician died, his death shocked the nation. The generally accepted version of his death is that Houdini suffered from a ruptured appendix from a punch in the stomach. By the time the death certificate arrived in New York, the body was buried and a rumor about a possible death plot surfaced. A recent book called The Secret Life of Houdini renewed the rumors. We uh, painted a new portrait of the end of his life and uh, uncovered evidence that suggests that he possibly could have been murdered. Larry Sloman says Houdini was investigating a group known as the Spiritualists. Houdini spent a lot of time on stage debunking the group's seances. That prompted a potentially dangerous reaction. For years he had been threatened by the Spiritualists. The book was enough to pique the interest of Houdini's descendants. Now they want to know if there's any truth to the rumors about murder. We hope to get sufficient tissue and bone samples for the purposes of making a determination as to the cause and manner of Harry Houdini's death. No word on when the results may be available. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.